All right, welcome back everyone. Glad you could join us for another video. So I had a subscriber suggest this video to me. Uh, it was my son actually. Thought it would be a good thing for possibly helping somebody out there. Now, we uh, moved out to this rural property about uh, six and a half years ago. And one of the challenges, if you want to set up a shop and have three phase machines, is getting three phase power. And uh, we do not have three, three phase power, but we do have single phase 220, of course, like most properties. Now to bring in uh, three phase power would have been an enormous amount of money and not possible either because it's not available in our area. So we came up with a solution for that and we purchased a phase quest phase generator and uh, we put that in to run our three phase machines and it's been a reliable machine. So I thought I would just go over what we did and maybe it'll help one of you guys out that are putting up a shop in a rural property and uh, need three phase. So. Uh, Hope you enjoy this video and uh, let's get started. This would be uh, one of the tools that requires three phase and uh, once again it was cheaper to uh, bring in three phase or buy a three phase conversion kit than to replace these machines. Here's a second one our edge bander and uh, this one takes I believe 30 amps and this one also is a 30 amp machine. So technically I could run both at the same time but I'm limited as to the amount of amperage I can run off of our three phase uh, panel. Another one of the machines that requires three phase, again cheaper to keep, and is our compressor. A Kaiser SM11 uh, is a 45 CFM at 150 and uh, I have a 200 gallon tank in the back there and uh, air dryer on the top here. Never had any problems with that, that's a screw compressor. Uh, suits our purposes. It's actually way overkill for what I use around here. This is the main panel uh, that we brought in. 200 amp service which runs all of our single phase uh, machines and lights and everything else and plugs. And we have a dedicated 100 amp service and I believe it's this one right here. I've got it turned off at the moment because I'm going to open up the boxes for you. And that runs into the phase quest box and there's all kinds of terminals on the inside and again I'll show you that and the single phase goes down and starts this 20 horsepower motor which probably takes about 30 amps when it's under full load and uh, then it pumps the third phase back into the box works its magic through all the capacitors and electronics in there and pushes it through and I have a 60 amp uh, breaker in there, three phase breaker, which runs the three phase panel. Now I would like to be able to run some single phase off of that, but there's no neutral wire running to that panel. Yeah, it looks like the mouse patrol wants a bit of attention. Ow, wow, wow, wow. I'm taking the cover off of the phase quest electronics portion, and there's all kinds of capacitors in there, and they're all tied together somehow, some way. There's a little bit of an electronics board in there. And uh, so the dedicated 100 amp service comes in, you run your 240 lines into the terminals here, tighten them down really good, and then when you turn the unit on, it throws that power down to the 20 horsepower motor, throws another phase up there, and that's the blue wire coming back, and that's where you get your third phase. So then you can see a red and a black and a blue going into the three phase 60 amp breaker into the three phase panel. A quick look inside the breaker panel. There's the three lines coming in on top. Uh, you really got to crank those down, make sure that the lugs are tight. Goes through the breakers and that's flipped on and uh, then it allows the power to go to the three phase panel. Now I would suggest that if you're buying one fuse, you may as well buy six or a pack of them because uh, uh, it's a pain if you have to run into town to grab one if uh, you lose power on one of those breakers. This is the 20 horsepower motor. It is a heavy bugger, I tell you. And uh, it just sits on a rubber mat. It does move around a little bit, but I just shift it back into place every once in a while. It doesn't move that much. And it was recommended that we don't fasten it to the floor for this application. I don't know why that would be. At any rate, it has a free running shaft. I don't have a cover for that. We just close the door on the little room here. and. Don't worry about it. And we took the key out, so hopefully it doesn't snag on anything. And then the wire just goes back into that little housing there, and you have to force the wires into their terminals. And uh, that's about all you got to do on the motor. Now it does have 
grease zerks on here, uh, but it does say that they're sealed bearings, so I don't know why you would have grease zerks in the event you have sealed bearings. These are the breakers or the fuses that go into the breaker box. Standard 60 amp. You cannot get these at Home Depot or the big box stores. They sell the smaller ones, but if you need these, you have to go to an electrical supply outlet, and I would suggest you buy a few because it saves a whole lot of headache if you've got to run into town just to get one fuse. And uh, of course, stop in production as well. At any rate, uh, these are the fuses that go into the box. So we'll close that up and we'll turn on everything and show you how it goes. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn on our 100 amp breaker. So now there is power going to the Phase Quest box. Now, for some reason, I don't know why this is, maybe I'm doing something wrong, but uh, the start and off button on this one uh, were opposite. So, um, in order to turn it on, you can do like this, you can hear the motor kick in. So, that motor is running right now, generating that third phase. And then, what I do every morning is I just turn on the 60 amp free breaker and now this panel is live and all the machines that are three phase have power running to them and technically you're supposed to turn off all your machines at night before you turn off the machine but all I do then at the end of the day is I just turn it off it takes a while for the motor to stop spinning just because it's probably so heavy, it's got a flywheel in there, it just keeps on spinning for a bit. And then, so that's my electrical system to getting three phase to the machines in the shop. The Phase Quest phase converter or generator uh, works well for our shop. It was considerably cheaper than uh, buying new machines to run on single phase. And uh, yeah, not as complicated as you might think. Uh, if you follow the instructions, uh, you can probably do it yourself if you're comfortable with that, but other than that, I would suggest getting an electrician to come and give you a hand. But uh, yeah, handy little system. Hopefully you learned something, and hopefully you enjoyed this video. And if you did, we would love it if you would subscribe, like, and share, and join us again for another video coming soon. Thanks for watching.